You've probably heard that it takes just three weeks to make or break a habit. That's poppycock. The idea came from a 1970s self-help book called Psycho-Cybernetics, but 21 Days to a Better You is not rooted in data, just the concept that repetition can entrench behavior. But if you really want to put a number on creating habits, you can look at a study by Dr. Philippa Lally, a psychologist at the University College London. The study found that on average it takes 66 days for a behavior to become automatic, and the length of time for habits to stick can vary between 18 days and 254, depending on the type of habit. So for instance, drinking a bottle of water after lunch, no big deal, 59 days, but 50 sit-ups each morning, 91 days. And it turns out that missing a day does not hinder the formation of a habit. Charles Duhigg, the author of The Power of Habit, points to something called the habit loop behind it all. He says the loop contains three parts, a cue or trigger that prompts a behavior, a routine or the behavior itself, and finally the reward, the thing that tells your brain, me likey, let's remember to do it again. So the cue for Committing yourself to say sit-ups could be a mental image of yourself feeling stronger or just looking like Hulk. The routine is the if-then algorithm setting the behavior. So if it's 8 a.m., then I will be coaxing the gelatinous puddle called my stomach muscles into action. And the reward is feeling or looking stronger. As soon as a behavior becomes automatic, the basal ganglia, the part of the brain that dwells in emotion, memory, and pattern takes over while your prefrontal cortex, responsible for decision making, dims the lights. This is the autopilot part of it all, the habit making. Another aspect of changing or making a behavior is accountability. Karen X. Chang, a modern polymath of sorts, decided she wanted to learn how to dance. Every day for a year she practiced filming herself while she did it. The act or behavior made her accountable and allowed her to see her progress unfolding. Hey love bugs, my new habit is to practice playing my accordion. The thing is, I was inspired by this website called giveit100.com, so in the very same spirit, I decided that I would practice my accordion for 100 days straight and document it on video. Now, if you guys have a habit that you're turning into a project, I really want to know about it. In the meantime, if you want to check out my my progress from ear splitting to hopefully mellifluous, make sure to check out stufftoblowyourmind.com.